Hello! In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get the average and the low and high values from a sales data chart. So we're using our default chart and we want to find out what was the average for the months January to June. Uh, and we want to put it under here, cell I6. Uh, and what we do is we start out always with an equal sign. And then we're going to type in average. And it comes up, so we're just going to uh, scroll down to average. Oops. And we're going to select open parentheses and we're going to select our cell. So, uh, as a, just to understand, we're going to select B6 to colon to G6. And then we're going to cl close the parentheses. And we have the average. Adds it up and divides it by the number of months. If we want to make it easy for ourselves and we want to give the average for all consultants on the sales chart, there's a little node on the bottom corner. We just select the node and drag it down. It's going to select the exact same thing and copy it down to the bottom here. For low, we want to use the min function. So again, we start with equals and we choose min and then we add the cells that we'd like. You can also take your mouse and select the rows and it will automatically put it in there. Kind of like doing this, makes it easy and we hit the enter key and it shows us that the lowest sales was April, January. Uh, April would be 11,000. And if we want to again copy, we just bring our mouse over to the right bottom right corner, and we select it and we drag it. For the last function we're going to be doing is high, which would be max, would be the max function. We start out with equals again, and it would be max. And then we choose the select the rows, again, January through June. And that is 18,000. As we can see, we check our data and it's correct. And we just bring this down to get all the consultants up to speed here. So that is the average, the low and the high, exactly how to do that. If you ever want to check the functions, select the uh, cell that you want and you come up here, you can actually check it on the formula bar that that indeed is what we want. And as you can see, they go down by number. 